So the U.S. Navy leads the way in efficient nuclear-powered ships. Every aircraft carrier, most submarines, and a number of cruisers are powered that way. Now researchers at the University of Rochester are working on a way to make another kind of fuel out of the sea. Christian Garzon reports. Now, when I first heard about this study, I thought it was for the smaller guys, the destroyers. Well, this is for the big ones, the aircraft carriers, using nuclear power and seawater to make fuel on board for fighter jets. Now, if approved, this would eliminate the need to rely on vulnerable fuel lines while deployed. This process doesn't create energy. It's a means of converting energy. Mark Porosov, assistant professor of chemical engineering with U of R, has been leading a team working with the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. Their mission? Use seawater on Navy ships to make fuel on board. Right, so this would really be oriented towards the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. So it takes the energy in the nuclear reactor, combines it with seawater, which is a very abundant resource, and makes a very useful fuel that can be used to power the fighter jets. No more stopping for fuel. Here's how it works. Yeah. Porosov says their catalyst speeds up the rate of reaction. They remove the hydrogen and carbon dioxide from seawater, taking those two elements and together with the catalyst, make them react. Thereby, you can stay out at sea and you don't have to move around to refuel, giving the U.S. Navy a strategic advantage. Now, this idea has been around for a while, yet Porosov says as we're still years away from this being implemented if the Navy ends up liking it. Now, this seawater to fuel research is only one aspect of their very large body of work here. They also use a similar process to make other fuels, chemicals, and plastics. From the University of Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8, back to you in the studio. Christian, incredibly interesting. Thank you. If you do want to learn more about this research program, just log on to rochesterfirst.com.